Hello ladies, it's Melissa from Pure Romance. Where are all my TRX ladies at right now? The ones that are missing the gym and don't get a chance to work out from home. Or maybe you wanna spice things up just a little in the bedroom and you wanna take it to a new level. I wanna introduce you to a product that is new to Canada. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. This is our Frequent Flyer Door Swing. So what is awesome about this is that this swing does not require to have any type of bolts or any type of apparatuses put into the wall or into the ceiling anywhere inside of your home and it's super safe. The Frequent Flyer can hold up to 300 pounds and all you need to do is have a door and a door frame. All you need is one and every home has one, whether it's inside of an apartment like I'm in right now or inside of a house. How about I show you a little bit? Our frequent flyer door swing. So our frequent flyer door swing uses a very solid grade steel bar that has a soft plastic end to it so it doesn't damage the paint on the door. Um, it has two of them and then it's got very strong almost military webbing style uh, straps on it and then it comes with a very soft wide and padded seat for your bum as well as handles and leg straps. So let me demonstrate to you how you can use this inside of your home. The first thing that you need is a door and a door frame. You wanna make sure that you have the door frame on the outside facing you because that is the safest way to do it. The pressure is on the door frame and on the door versus being on the door knob itself. If you can only use it on the opposite side, do make sure that it is a locking door for your safety. Now, let's see. So what you wanna do is, this is a little bit twisted up, so let me untwist it. You wanna make sure that the biggest buckle is on the outside and all you have to do is flip this either side of your door. Here's the magic part. Just close it and you're done. Now I have a bit of a wide load going on at the back, so I wanna make sure this is nice and wide. And then I'm gonna take my handle, which is over here and over here, and we're just gonna do a pedal pull. And then, right, I've got my whole weight into the apparatus and I'm not going anywhere. And this secures those metal bars right into the door and the door frame. So again, it holds up to 300 pounds, you're completely safe. So let me show you how this works. First step is, is to adjust the bum to be at a comfortable height for you. Mine's a little bit lopsided, so let me do a bit of an adjustment here. And there, and there. Okay, I think that's a good height. Feels about right. Shimmy on board, and here we go. So here, you can see me pick up my feet. I'm safe, I'm comfortable. I'm gonna adjust the bottom to be right where my hips are so that it's easier to access. Now, let's talk about the leg straps. Okay, let me get my arms out here. We are going to just simply push on the buckle and pull this all the way down. Now, I did a bit of a trick yesterday in bed where I slept funny and uh, my flexibility is a little bit off. But it is no match for the door swing because this thing, the straps are so accommodating that it's very comfortable. So all you do is you just support yourself, slide that over top of your foot, and there you go. I'm gonna make these even, even Steven. So here you go. 
Now I can use this if I'm doing it for workout. I can use this for great quad and hamstring stretch. Um, if I want to move the seat up, let's say maybe I'm needing it for a taller position. Very, very easy. You use your leg straps. Just lift them up a little bit to give you some traction. And then grab your seat straps. I'm wrapping them around my hand to give me a little bit more support. And then you just push up. And I'm grabbing two straps, which isn't very helpful. But there you go. So you can push yourself up on this. You can stand up. I'm not going to do that today because again, I pulled something last night, but this is extremely, extremely comfortable. Very, very comfortable. And let's say for, if you don't have this kind of space, right? You can't, you know, you don't have that. All you do is you just slide your foot onto the inside to give you some thigh support. This is great for anyone that has <laughs> bit of a tummy, whether it's my pregnant mamas out there, or in general, just to be more comfortable, and you don't have the space, or you don't have the stretch in your legs, this is great. Absolutely great and very, very comfortable. The straps are wide enough that it's not cutting off circulation to, the, to your legs. Okay, so there's this position. Also, if you are using it in play, um, very easy, easy for control, right? Um, it's a nice option. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit more fun with it, let me just get out of the leg straps here. So you just take it and you push up on the base of the webbing. And it's easy, 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 easy. Okay, let's see. I want to do some very, very easy chest presses, right? Or I want to, it's called the Superman. Right, you wanted to do something a little bit fun or a little bit different. Right? You take it and you pull both sides. And then you go and you grab the leg. Now this is going to be very far away, so let's bring it in just a little bit. And this one, and we're just gonna pull it in a little bit. So you can lean forward, okay? And now you're fully supported. You want to use it for workout, no problem. We're going to go like this, right? You want to make sure that this is right underneath of the bus, which is more comfortable, but do before you use it in play. Just practice with it a little bit so that you're comfortable. And here I can do a chest press, which is crazy awesome. I miss working out at the gym, if you can't tell. Trying to fight that COVID-15, right? Now, if you want to get a little bit more fun, you can simply go and put your feet up, which is a little bit of a trick. Oh, may not happen for me today. Hold on. Right? Oh, not me today. But you put your feet up and you can do the Superman. Depends on your level of flexibility. The other option that you can do, if you want to have some control here, we're going to go and drop this down a bit till it's right underneath of the bum, right? Make sure that this is comfortable and even, okay? You can come here. Now that I'm in it, I can pull it up a little bit, right? And so I've got one foot and then the other foot and I can do my leg squats. You've got your handles here. Don't forget to use them. So you've got some control. And this is where you get to take some control and have some fun or do your leg presses for your quads and your hamstrings. So I hope that was fun for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on uh, my page. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please, by all means, you can either private message me or comment below. Send me a thumbs up or put a little emoji in the bottom just to let me know that you've watched this and that you had a bit of fun uh, seeing me try to kill myself or you on a Sunday morning, afternoon, afternoon. Anyway, here at Pure Romance, my name again is Melissa Crosby. We keep married women married, single women safe, and all women happy. Love you guys and I'll see you soon.